what follows is a tutorial on using Google Earth in conjunction with Garmin Basecamp. Um, this is particularly useful um, for um, checking out the conditions of roads, um, how wide they are and what have you, um, checking out locations where you may be going to meet people. Um, it uh, can't be used, uh, well, the street view level can't be used in places like Germany or Austria, Switzerland, um, countries that uh, for privacy reasons don't allow Google Street View. However, uh, for the majority of France, UK, etc., um, it is eminently usable. Right, um, the majority of uh, these yellow roads um, and the, uh, the darker yellow or orangey roads um, are, are taken as a given practically of, of, as being um, in reasonable condition. However, you still might want to have a look at them. Um, but it's the smaller white roads that um, this is very handy for checking out, um, checking their suitability. So using the, the hand tool, um, which is my preferred method of getting around, because you can actually grab and move the map and using the wheel mouse, zoom in and out. Um, but let's zoom in on this road we have here um, as part of our route. If we select the route, um, which uses actually select cities in this dark magenta colour, um, and go to view Google Earth on selected items. This will actually bring the route up in Google Earth for us, so we can actually follow the route around and look at various points of it. So selected items, here comes Google Earth. There are some other routes up here that I've got in uh, in Basecamp, but it's coming in on our route here that we've, uh, we've established. And this is the road that we need to check. So let's just zoom in on it. There we go. Right. Well, I mean, even you know, for, for for places like Germany, you can still use Google Earth, but obviously you just be viewing at, at viewing it from uh, from an altitude rather than actually getting down to street level. Um, right. So let's actually see what this road is like. So if you grab the street view icon in Google Earth, and so long as there's a blue line, you've got street view. And there we go. That's the road. It's fairly newly surfaced, but this was done in 2012. So, uh, yep, yeah, it uh, might have a few chippings on it. Um, and you can double click your way around your route. Take a long time. Doesn't look particularly wide, but. Um, and you can also check out the scenery around. Okay, let's go to Exit Street View and see if we can see somewhere else on our route. Um, it's also quite good for checking out the lie of the land because you've got this uh, relief view. All right. Also, you can see some of the photographs. And let's check out our meeting point that we set in the earlier tutorial. Right again. Right, this looks like it was in the off season, but uh, there we are. That's where we arranged to meet. Okay. And you can even, should you wish, do a fly through of your route. If you go down to paths, find. The actual route. Click play. Obviously, you need a reasonable broadband speed for this to work, and here we go, we're off on the route. Obviously, it'll overcome your broadband if you uh, get a reasonable idea of the lie of the land doing this. Obviously, the terrain mapping in Google Earth isn't massively accurate, but. Uh,
Here we go down the main gorge itself, smack through a mountain. Anyway, that gives you a general idea. There you go. Thanks for watching.